Hello everybody, welcome to another beautiful day in Canada. And today I just wanted to show you around my Toro Grandstand uh, commercial grade lawnmower. I do not do any commercial grade work, it was a great deal for me to buy, I bought it used and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been amazing since I bought it. It's been almost a year and a half since I had it and uh, I guess this is the day I decided to make a video on it. Well, uh, first off, it's, it is a standing lawnmower, uh, you stand in the back. So the Toro Grandstand, the Grandstand basically means instead of sitting on it, you stand on them and you stand on this platform. It's a really nice uh, soft platform and the way you do it is, here's this uh, soft foam material, you basically lean against it and that's how you balance you basically just lean against it and play with the controls i'm gonna go go to the controls in a bit so uh this is a kawasaki 24 horse motor it's a really nice really dependable motor it's better than the Kohler one so and it's a twin motor um, the drive it's a hydrostatic drive so uh these are the the hydrostatic uh, lines it drives the motor there and there and same here the lines will come and um, actually the motor uh, there's the, the, the hydro, hydro pump is right there and uh, it is a 60 inch deck and if you see the quality of the build these are quarter inch steel here here and even the deck let me hit it it doesn't have any tinny feeling it's thick you see that build the material it's thick it's built to last and it is heavy duty it is a uh, an overkill for the work I do but you know what this is probably the last lawnmower I will ever buy serving this servicing this mower is uh, just like any other lawnmower uh, to replace the belts you don't even have to drop the deck so right now I have the deck at the highest level if you pull this uh, what you need to do is uh, lower the deck to the lowest level so if you pull this towards yourself and the brick docks now the deck is resting on the floor now all you have to do is uh, take this spring off and the moment you take the spring off the belt comes loose you just uh, replace the belt and put that spring back on you're back in business in terms of changing the oil the oil drain line is right over here if you can see it right there uh, let the camera focus there it's not focused yet anyway I am NOT a big fan of that location because uh, um, every time I try to use that it makes a big mess so all I do is I basically uh, get out of there uh, take it off and I drop a suction and suck it off and you're supposed to uh, service the uh, hydraulic oil and change the filter every season but you know what uh, for me I probably do 40 hours every season so I don't change the hydraulic uh, filter every year but this is the year that I will change it um, on the other hand uh, there are a couple of service things that you need to keep in mind uh, there's a bleed nipple right over there. Let the camera focus. There it is. You need, to, you need to grease that. There's a grease nipple here. Save on the other side. You need to grease these two. On top of it, you need to grease this. The blade at the bottom. This is a three blade system. It's a 60 inch deck. There's a blade, uh, grease nipple right under there. And of course, under that covering, you need to grease them once a season depending on your uh, on your uh, usage if you are a commercial guy I would recommend you grease them every I don't know 50 hours or so Change the oil the recommendation is every 60 hours you're supposed to change the oil but because I don't go over 40 hours a season so I change the oil every uh, season but if you're a commercial user change the oil every season it's good to go in terms of the controls the fun factor uh, that's where the fuel gauge is. You fill it up uh, through here. 
Uh, do keep in mind these motors, uh, they run the best in 91 octane. So make sure you put 91 octane because once I tried putting 87, uh, it doesn't run good. It doesn't cut good. Everything is everything sounds sick. So 91 is the way to go. And in terms of this deck, first of all, right here, you're going to see the hours. I have 1106 hours. That's all. These motors are good for 3,500 4,000 hours. 100 hours is nothing. Over here, you have the choke. You pull the choke. You push this down to the rabbit. And then you put the key in. It's an interesting looking key. I thought there would be a lot more, but that's, it is what it is. And you turn. I'm going to show that in a bit. And the controls are these two controls. So this, because it's a zero turn, uh, and this is a safety. Uh, the control on the right hand is safety. So if the blades are on, and for some reason it goes like that, blades will cut off all the time, any time and every time. So you, in order for in order for you to keep the blades running, you have to have it down, and you have to have both both of your hand over here, especially the right one, and then it will be okay. It does have a parking brake. Uh, basically, you pull this lever up all the way up. Yeah, there. All it all it does it digs into the tire and holds it down. Uh, it does it in both sides. So, not a big fan of it. I leave it down all the time. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's uh, get it started. Oh, another thing is. Uh, let me show you. Another thing I wanted to point it out is when you pull the deck up, it, first of all, it needs some strength. The whole deck and the motor, the whole thing comes up. Watch. See? The whole thing comes up. This is a view. All right. I'm going to show you from the top. So there are a lot of moving parts that brings it up. So brackets there, 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 and there's two under here. So watch this. Thing moves up. It's very important to move it a couple of times a season just so that uh, none of the bolts like this one or uh, uh, the bearing over here, they don't seize up happened to me it was a lot of work to free them and I actually had to machine a new bearing so all right let's start it the starting procedure is first you need to put your hand down the safety on choke on blade off put it up acceleration to rabbit start 